Hello everybody. In this video tutorial, I am going to show the use of Swift Boss and Orbis. So let's begin. At first, I am going to sketch and then sketch again. Then I am selecting front plane. That first, I am going to draw a circle. Okay, now go to smart dimension. And I am taking this one. Okay. This is just uh, 10 mm. Okay. Let's put it this one a little bit. Exit. Now I'm selecting top plane. Sketch. Space bar. Then normal to. Okay, now I'm selecting line and I'm just going drawing a line here. Okay, the length of this line is 30 mm. Okay. Now I'm going to features and I'm just selecting sweep boss or this. So click this one. So at first uh, it is sketch profile. Now this circle I'm going to select the circle at first. Select the circle. Now I'm selecting this following line. So I'm selecting this line. So we have got a solid shape here. Now there is another thing that is guided curve. So if you want you can also follow this one. Now there is start and in tangency and the number one that is thin feature. So I'm just selecting a thin feature that is 2 mm. So uh, okay. So this is the use of sweet boss or base. So let's uh, try another example. Part okay now sketch. I'm just selecting now front plane space bar normal to now I'm selecting a circle okay exit just rotate a bit then from here I'm selecting top plane exit then space bar Then features okay. exit. Now I'm selecting the circle. Now from curves, I'm selecting helix and spiral. Okay, so it is constant pitch, and I'm selecting here height and revolution. So I'm increasing the height, revolution. Okay, three revolutions start angle zero. It is clockwise. Okay, it is zero degree to make it one degree. Okay. Okay. Now I'm selecting okay, top plane sketch. I'm selecting circle and at this point I'm just drawing a circle. Okay. Now I'm going to features and I'm selecting sweep boss or base. At first I'm selecting this circle and then I'm selecting this parameter. Okay. I'm just now hiding this one. So this is another example of sweep boss or base command. So I think this tutorial will help you. Thank you.